Um, we come to you today with a couple of questions that we um, received either through our website or, or through phone calls. Um, so I'm going to attempt to answer those today for you. Let's get into it. Uh, question one, somebody asked, another driver lost control of his car on the ice and hit my car. Uh, the police say that the offending driver did not have snow tires on his car. Does that mean I have a better case? So anytime you have a car accident, you have to prove two things. You have to prove damages, which, you know, what are your injuries, how much were your medical bills, wage loss, those types of issues. And then the other thing you have to prove is fault. Um, fault really boils down to, I don't know that it matters whether they had snow tires or not. Uh, I don't think snow tires are required in Kansas. Uh, but anybody or anytime someone is driving either um, inattentively um, they're driving too fast for conditions, whether that's snow, ice, rain, whatever the situation may be. If it's their fault, they can't control their car and they run into you, um, then generally it's their fault. Whether or not they have snow tires, um, I don't know that that increases uh, the chances of you winning. It's either their fault um, or not in that type of situation. One of the, the second question we have is a... Um, A person was driving on the highway and lost control of their own car. They hit the center barrier and then they were they themselves were injured. Um, they wanted to ask, uh, can I make a claim or can I sue somebody and if so, who? In that type of situation, um, if you're the driver of your own car and you lose control and injure yourself, then uh, generally you cannot sue yourself. Uh, but on your auto policy, you do have a PIP benefits um, package, if you will, that will cover your medical bills up to $4,500. That's the minimum. It could cover more if you have a bigger policy. Um, it'll also cover wage loss um, and some other things. So if you are the driver of a car um, and it's your fault that, the, uh, that you're injured, then you can at least get those or obtain those benefits from your own car insurance company. But as far as suing yourself for a liability part of it, you can't really do that. Um, moving on. Another question which is interesting is somebody asked, is the hood on my jacket dangerous or a safety hazard if I'm crossing the road and don't see uh, traffic um, on that roadway? Uh, potentially, yes. Um, there's a few laws in Kansas that are in Wichita at least where you, know, you cannot step off the curb right in front of a car, even if you're in a crosswalk. Um, that would be considered your fault. Um, if there's traffic on a road and you have your hood up and you know you can't see out of your with your peripheral vision um, you know it's probably a comparative fault issue which means that it could partially be your fault and it could partially be the car that hit you it could be their fault um, the comparative fault issue in Kansas is that either party could be zero to hundred percent of fault or anywhere in between and that's something that initially you know the attorneys and or the um, insurance company works out but Ultimately, if you go to trial, then a jury would decide that number for each of you. In Kansas, if you are 50% of fault, then you, can, um, you can't collect anything. Um, basically, you lose if that's the situation. If you're less than 50% of fault, then you can collect the percentage that you are not at fault. For example, a jury awards you $10,000, they say you're 40% of fault, then you could collect $6,000. So whether or not your hood is an issue um, kind of depends on the situation, depends on the facts. Uh, but if you can't see the roadway when you're crossing it, I would suggest taking your hood off and being safe. Um, if you have any questions, uh, you can go to our website. It's 267team.com. You can give us a call at 316-267-TEAM. Um, That's 8326. Um, another question that we had given to us was <clears throat> a guest slipped and fell on some ice on my walkway while trying to get in my house for a dinner party. Can I be sued? Anytime that there's ice or snow on the ground or in a walkway, it's always a difficult uh, question. In Kansas, if there is a winter storm going on, uh, it is actively snowing, actively icing outside. Generally, the person who is, is walking um, on the sidewalk or in the parking lot, if they injured themselves, typically they're most of the time they're barred from recovery if there is an active snowstorm going on. Um, if it's not actively snowing, um, the homeowner, if they have invited people over, if they have the foreseeability that there's a bunch of people coming over and they know that their um, sidewalk is icy, 
then it's a little bit more difficult question. Um, you also have a duty to keep an eye out, um, you know, notice the danger. Um, if there's an open and obvious danger to avoid that. A lot of times if you fall in somebody's house, their homeowner's insurance will have something called medical payments, which their insurance company will cover your medical bills up to a certain amount, and that really depends upon the insurance company and whatever type of policy they've ha they have. I've seen them as low as 5000 I've seen a small company have it up to 20000 So it really depends on what the insurance company or what the insurance policy has for that homeowner. Whether or not you could cover, collect something under liability, um, under the liability limits really depends upon the facts of the case. So that's kind of a tough, tough question to answer without the actual facts that, um, that, that took place um, to cause you injury. I think um, right before Christmas, we um, put out on Facebook to nominate somebody um, for a TV. Uh, this is our last one to give away, and then we're done for the year. We, we had a few names. Uh, I think seven or eight, somewhere in that area, maybe nine. And we basically put everybody um, down on paper. We assigned each person a number. We went on the internet and went to a random number generator, put in one through, um, put in the number of people we had and um, hit generate. And it generated uh, number one, which would be, I believe his last name is pronounced Thacker, Donald Thacker. So Donald, if you're watching this or if you see this post, um, give us a call at 267 team and we will get that uh, TV to you. So congratulations uh, for winning that and again congratulations to everybody else who um, won throughout the year and entered. We appreciate uh, your participation in that. Next week, is it next week? We are going to have, I believe, Gary and Todd. I'm not telling you the truth right now. Two weeks we're going to have Gary and Todd uh, together on a Facebook Live. Um, so email questions, send questions on Facebook, and we'll have Gary and Todd probably talk about workers' compensation issues um, together, and hopefully that'll be exciting, and uh, um, answer your questions and go from there. So I hope I've answered the questions that were submitted. Um, again, it's 267team.com or 316-267-8326, 267team. And I appreciate you watching. Thanks.